Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to create custom hook in Drupal 8 or 9. Before that, let's understand why do we need to create custom hooks. So consider a scenario where in your custom uh, or contributed module, you are you are generating a list, and you you see that this list uh, is something which uh, other modules can override or there would be some certain need that other modules would need it like uh, info hooks so uh, in such scenarios where the data or information generated by our custom module uh, can be uh, uh, can be of any use for other modules then in that cases we create hooks so uh, let's let's create hook and then we will understand more about it for that i have a module called drupal hacks and i'll be creating a custom hook in that module so uh, for creating a custom hook the first thing we have to do is create a module.api.php file so i'm going to create a new file And inside this file, we just have to basically uh, write information about our hook. I'm going to copy the code I already have here to save time. Okay, so inside this, I'm just uh, providing uh, information about my custom hook. That is, the hook is going to be like Drupal hacks latest hacks, which is basically generating lists of top hacks of drupal hacks and what are these hacks so basically uh, this hack is a taxonomy and all the nodes tagged with this, this taxonomy the latest nodes will be returned with this hook this is uh, and for that uh, i have you have to provide detailed information uh, in inside in, in your php doc um, and the parameters and what it is going to return everything and uh, you must uh, prefix it with hook underscore and the name of your hook so in my case it is drupal hacks underscore latest dot underscore hacks and i'm prefixing it with hook underscore and uh, inside and and i'm uh, telling that i would need one uh, parameter sorry argument also uh, and I have provided the information about that argument in the doc. Uh, one more thing to note here is that uh, the 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 definition of this function is going to be a is 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 going to do nothing actually. Uh, so here it is simply uh, useful for other people to look for the possible uh, implementation as in what they can do with this hook. You can specify the example logic example uh, uh, code inside the definition of your hook so this would not do anything this would just provide a way of other uh, way to other uh, developer or module developer to how to use your module oh, sorry how to use your hook then just save it second you have to do you have to go to uh, uh, like trigger this hook as in you have to write the logic of how you are going to invoke this hook so in my case i am simply returning the latest uh, created notes tagged with hex taxonomy and i would want to return it on a custom block whenever that block is going to be rendered i want uh, this hook to be triggered so i am going to i have created a block for that called as latest hacks block and inside this block basically i'm going to use module handlers invoke all and all let's first understand this invoke all method module handler uh, is a ph uh, drupal service you can you can look for uh, the more definition on it from drupal.org so module handlers invoke all you would you from this method you can you can basically specify which hook you want to call and you then you would have to specify uh, pass the arguments to it uh, 
one more thing to note here is that you must not uh, uh, um, you must not have hook underscore like you use you have in the api.php file you must provide only the hook name here so in my case again the hook name is drupal hacks underscore latest or underscore hacks so i am providing it as this and since i need a list variable so i'm add, providing a list variable here and above this basically you can see i'm executing a drupal query and trying to get all the hook uh, nodes uh, sorted with descending order uh, tagged with uh, uh, TID 3 which is the TID of my uh, taxonomy hack um, and it is generating a list of nodes uh, for me and it is generating top five nodes for me uh, so I'm just adding that list to this hook so so this hook is basically an info hook this hook will provide uh, information to other hooks as in what all type of nodes or what all type of uh, and I, a node ID I'm getting out of this hook so let's refresh uh, sorry clear the cache and that is it yeah it has cleared the cache and that is it the next thing is we have to do is we just have to simply use this hook or implement this hook like any other hook so i'm going to copy again one more code so you would see <coughs> my custom module name is an example here and for implementing a drupal hooks hook underscore drupal hacks underscore latest underscore hacks the name of the hook i am writing it like this uh, providing a list argument and then I can implement my logic here as in uh, so let's let's clear this and let's see what it is returning here I'm going to do kint uh, nid or dd list and I'll clear the cache and let's see if this function or, or implementation of our hook will actually be called or not. And see, it is being called. So it is returning for 15, 16, 14, 15, 14, 12. And I can see that list over here. So yes, our hook is working absolutely fine. Next uh, thing which I wanted to tell you guys is that uh, you have also seen hooks like underscore alter like form alter where you can alter the information provided by that hook so that you can also do on your custom hook by uh, mod by invoking uh, module hall handlers alter method and inside the alter method you again provide the name of the hook and the information you want uh, to provide other modules to alter so here I'm providing other modules to alter the list uh, of this hook so for that I have cleared the cache I'm going to clear the cache give me a second I'm going to clear the cache here and I'm now going to alter the information of my hook Example name of my module Drupal hacks underscore alter and it is a reference list type variable list. Let's so you see i was getting four type of uh, four node ids 16 15 14 12 here you can see in the mark you uh -huh. now uh, let's add first dd list here and see if this function is being actually called or not
it is it is working so i'm getting a list of uh, four node ids 16 15 14 and 12 and i want to what i am going to do i am going to add one here one here let's see what will it add let's let's string it okay cool and and let's see if it will actually on altering anything you would see the mark you and it is adding one to that list so through the hook i have altered the, the list here um, and that is how you create custom hooks in drupal thank you